Okay, I want my camera stand to be lightweight and these leftover pieces from my shutters are plastic over a piece of very heavy masonite, not masonite, but I could make it out of this, it's nice, straight and true, but the plastic itself is uh, hollow, so it's ultra light. And so I think I'm gonna use these. I'm thinking that something like this with uh, an X, actually this is halfway up, I could probably use uh, these two sticks and cut them in half and that will give me plenty of height for the iPad to hang down in between the two of them. With a cross member across the top for stability and hanging, I think I've got my camera stand. Quick update, I decided not to go with those plastic tubes as I initially thought. I'm going to go with this wood because it'll be a bit more sturdy. I've decided to not use screws or bolts or anything like that. I'm going to make it very, very temporary. I'm going to use clamps to hold this thing together since I'm just going to do a drawing and then quit and put everything away. So I don't have to go down to the hardware store to get anything for this. Now let's measure and cut. Okay, I'm going to share with you a little workaround since I only have, what is that, 10, 12 inches there and this is about 16 inches. I can't run this through and cut it because of that. So if you don't mind the odd shape at the end, you can put it in like this and run it through and you'll have a little bit of a curve at the top or even stand it up and minimize that, which is what I intend to do. It'll minimize the curve that's going to be on this flat edge. Ear protection, eye protection, of course. Okay, I've got entirely too many projects here on this table. Now these are very strong clamps. I expect them to hold it together just fine. It would look like so. It almost stands up on its own. The clamp is so strong. The paper is about 15 inches wide and I can adjust this since I don't have any screws in here. Okay, so this is, this is feeling really fairly strong. Very surprising. That's going to work great. You can barely get the clamp on there. Okay, backing up just a little bit. It's going to have the, the two cross members on there, and then the iPad will sit on those. And since these are clamped, I can adjust it up and down uh, if I need to for the height of the iPad over my artwork. Let's go inside and see what it looks like. Jeez, would you look at that mess. There must be three or four projects there at one time. Don't you wish sometimes you could just... All right, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, just a slight snack. I gotta go back to the drawing board. My wife ordered an 11 by 14, which is a little bigger than I had actually planned to use for this drawing. I needed to go at least this high which means there's not enough room for all the brackets for this thing to level out. So I've got to go back to the original plan, which was to not use all brackets, but to use a, a bolt right here th through these two. And that way there, it'll give room for this thing to stand a little bit taller and to have these brackets have room as well. Okay, that was quick and painless. I just happened to have the exact size bolts and nuts that I needed. To do this job and that it, once it's tight it's a whole lot more stable and, and uh, sturdy than it was before so it'll still store away nice and easy and uh, and I'll still use the four clamps to hold this thing together let's see if it works 
time to share a new discovery. These clamps are so tight and hard to, to deal with and they're all the way out to the edge trying to get them on. These yellow ones are not as tight. They go on okay, but I think that if I was to do this again, I would buy two more of these little bitty clamps because they'll go as wide as you want and they hold on just fine. Okay, I have this thing up as high as it'll go and it is actually a little bit too high. I can bring it back down or I can just adjust this, but there it is. Once it's uh, in place, then you just leave it alone and you come down here and do your drawing. I think that's going to work out just fine. Okay, I have come down about two inches on all four corners and my paper is now aligned from edge to edge. Of course, I'm going to use a picture that's a new one. This is the last one that I did and that's going to work out just fine. Okay, because I know that you're gonna wanna ask, these sticks, all of them, are cut down to exactly 17 inches. So I recommend if you don't wanna do any cutting and you wanna have it done at the hardware store, get six sticks the same length, 17 inches approximately. Have these holes drilled out for you so that you can put bolts in the two verticals. And then you don't have to have uh, bolts in the horizontal bars because you might want to move them up and down depending on the size of paper. And as you could tell that I was struggling moving them as it was. If this was bolted or clamped any other way, it wouldn't go quite as smoothly. Well, this was a fun project. I highly recommend it. If you're going to do Camera Lucida, it is a really fun program. And it allows you to trace anything through the picture onto paper. This was a fun project. Try it out. Thanks for watching.